first of all, you're here at the Sugar Factory. Yes. And we're surrounded by candy. Which I love. And do you have a particular favorite? I'm going to go with Jawbreakers. You can never go wrong. I'm, I'm already stocked up. The heaviest candy in the building. I mean, why Jawbreakers of everything here? Because they charge by the pound. <laughs> They're the heaviest thing here. And they last the longest. Now, when you were a kid, I mean, what was your go-to candy? Go-to candy, other than Jawbreakers, probably definitely had to be, like, licorice. Yeah. What was it about licorice that you like? I mean, I think that's just what my family grew up on, like going to the movie theater and watching movies with licorice and popcorn. It was always kind of a thing to do. Now, you, you last year released a uh, new remix album. Yes. You turned up a Viking. Uh, I turn up. Gospel of Ike Turner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, talk to me a little bit about the uh, genesis of that album. It's been really cool. Like, right now in the music industry, you can kind of release projects based off of how you're feeling. And that was just one project. We have another one coming out soon called Model Music. After that, my summer school project. So the way the music industry has shifted, you don't have to sit around and wait to release a whole album. You can just put out bodies of work through streaming. So it's been outstanding. Now, you know, the gospel of Mike Turnup, you, I read that you were inspired by 90s music. Yes. I mean, what was it about the 90s that you found uh, particularly inspirational? Uh, specifically, like, 90s R&B was really that time where, like, a lot of classic golden music was made. And I feel like now this generation is just starting to kind of open their eyes and ears to it a little bit more so it's kind of cool it's been reciprocal now what are you inspired by for the new album that's coming out uh more vibes more chill like uh i always say this is music to make every woman feel like a supermodel it gives everybody that cool chill vibe when they get ready all that stuff and get it going now you're here for the 25th anniversary of fox was that is a feel part of this experience i love celebrating people's 25th birthday parties that's always a good good time 25 is a good year